Hey there, this is Chad from Zombie Fight Shark. Welcome to a very quick episode of uh, Too Many Plugins. And um, I have talked a little bit in some other videos about sound fonts. And depending on what DAW, what DAW you're using, you may or may not be able to import them directly. Uh, in some cases, you have to use a third-party plugin, a VST or what have you. Um, to be able to pull a, uh, a sound font in. So um, we're going to talk about TX16WX. It just rolls off the tongue. It is a free sound font player. It actually has a ton of controls and, and really uh, it can do quite a bit. Um, we're going to just do, we're going to cover the most basic thing because the majority of people who are going to be using this, um, like myself, uh, I just want to be able to open the sound font um, and then maybe I'll go in and, and mess with some controls uh, if I feel so inclined. But what do you do uh, with with your sound font. So when you open it, this is what you see. Um, it is, so you're like, um, okay, nothing there. See, I'm hitting the keyboard. You can see the keys lighting up, but we have no sound. Uh, so let's see. We go to file browser, and then I've got all my sound fonts here and, uh, in my sound font folder, and these are all these are all folders here. You can't tell from the interface, but those are folders. Um, and then... Uh, some sound fonts, it's just one sound, and then some are embedded sounds within sounds within sounds. So that's what I want to, so, so for example, one sound, five string banjo. Um, and that was it. It loaded it just that fast. And one of my favorite sound fonts is this squid font, orchestral sound font, and it's got many sounds within it. So, uh, and it's, and see, this says it's showing you all the loadable things and it's got all these other options. It can load all kinds of stuff. Uh, so when I want to select one of these, then here I go. Something I've noticed with this is that it, um, it doesn't seem to behave itself, uh, all the time when it comes to, uh, when it comes to... Oh, what to do? Where's the panic button? So, so this this has a long release, and so it's a little bit longer than I want. I'm gonna cut it down from 700 milliseconds to just under 300. And there we go. Uh, I mean, that was, I edited it. That's all there was to it. And so you, if you're familiar with um, Contacts uh, Editor, it's kind of similar to that. Um, and I highlighted it, click, drag, everything's highlighted. And then all of, uh, all of these options in this little panel here are available. All of these filter options are available. Um, um, we got all these different envelopes that you can play with and sequences and you got a little modulation table even. So for a free sound font player, this does a lot. The, uh, and there is a pro version. Um, this is really old. Um, and if um, I, 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 I don't know all the details on whether or not uh, it's still in development. I mean, from the interface, I'm going to guess no, um, but I could be wrong, and maybe they'll let me know, and I'll update that if that is the case. Um, but anyway, that's the short version there. Um, you you load your, you launch it, go to your file, brow, file browser right there, go to your sound fonts folder, and then find... Find a thing you want to load, and again, this is a this is multiple sound fonts buried with buried within a larger sound font, and uh, you know, there we go. There's my guitar. So one nice little thing here is that it has tooltips kind of built into it. So if you are like, what does it do? All you gotta do is hover for a second, and it gives you a little tooltip. And there's a lot. There's a lot of uh, windows and things to go in here and play with. So, um, anyways, if you're trying to use sound fonts and your DAW, your DAW does not 
use sound fonts natively or if you're trying to use sound fonts that are multiple files buried within a larger file, um, then this is a great little plugin. Uh, the free version is fine, I can tell, uh, to use those. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Talk about Ableton. Cheers.